everyone, today on Berlin Builds, I'm gonna show you how to put together this little table thingamajigger that goes over your bathtub. All right, we gotta figure out how wide to make this thing. What I'm gonna do is, since this tub is up tight against the wall, I'm just gonna let the little shelf rest on this side. And what I'm gonna do is over here, I'm gonna have it do like a waterfall edge down. And then on this side, I'm gonna put another little piece. So it's gonna capture the whole board right here, and then it will just rest over here. So I'm gonna make some measurements to see what I need to do. 29 and a half is to the outside of this tub, and then if I do the inner piece at 28, we should be living in a happy place. All right, so I do not know what is square or parallel on this board, so I'm just gonna make my own reference point. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip some of this side off. And you can see it's a little chewed up over here. It's just not that pretty, so I'm gonna rip that off and I'm gonna make that my new reference for squaring up everything else to it. Now I'm gonna try and simulate a little bit more of this live edge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of take that and then just kinda of draw a line, a nice curvy line. And now we're gonna cut out that line using the bandsaw. So I'm gonna take my belt sander and I'm gonna go and try and make this look more natural than it looks right now, just being a nice, you know, up and down cut. So I'm gonna take this and try and kind of match where I've got this little bit of actual live edge right here all along here. You can use a belt sander. You can also use an angle grinder with a flapper disc. I just can't find my flapper disc. Now I'm gonna use a torch and burn along this edge lightly to give it some color. And then I'm gonna sand off a lot of that char. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna leave some dark marks within the grain of the wood. That'll make it look more like a, a natural live edge. This is the side that I ripped on my table saw, and this is my reference side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this side to make it so that it's square, and then I'm going to cut a 45 degree miter on this side, and then I'll take that remnant and I'll cut the opposite miter so that way I can make it so that it will come out and waterfall down like this. All right, before I glue all this up, it's gonna be a lot easier if I sand like the bottom, the top, before I glue it all up. Also, I'm gonna route out a little groove for my wife. She wants to be able to like set her phone or her iPad in, as well as a little groove for her Dr. Pepper to set. So I'm gonna level with you. This needs to be done today. So, in a perfect world, I would go and buy a smaller portion of it. All I have that I can find right now is an inch and a half. It's bigger than I was imagining, but we'll make it work. So. What I've done is I've measured, I went over to my tub, and I found out where the center of the tub would be in regards to this. And I've marked it right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Forstner bit, and I'm gonna drill down a hole. And then I'm gonna take my router, and I'm gonna route out a straight line that will go through that hole. Now I'm not gonna drill the hole all the way through, that would be bad. Now you might be wondering, why on earth are you drilling a hole? Well, because the router bit that I have doesn't actually drill into the wood. It only takes away wood that's side to side from it. So I have to give it a place to get, uh, a way to get into the wood without carving out a groove all through the top of this. All right, next I'm gonna drill a hole for my wife's Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna drill out a little groove for her Dr. Pepper to set right here. I've got this routed out for the Dr. Pepper. I've got this start for the groove for the phone slash iPad. To make sure that I'm parallel, there we go. Six and five sixteenths, six and five sixteenths. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line as my reference for when I'm routing. And when I get to the end of the line, I know it's time to stop. Now, you can do a lot of math and do it that way if you want to. I don't really want to, what I'm going to try and do is just a quick and easy setup. So I'm going to set my router in the hole. 
about where I want it to be, depth wise. And now, I'm gonna take a straight edge, like this, and create a fence by clamping it down in place. Before I clamp it though, I'm gonna make sure it's parallel. All right, this is embarrassing, but I thought I hit record and apparently I didn't. So it did not record me actually routing out this area. So I'll show you kind of what I did. I set the router in and then what I did is I pushed it up against the fence and then I just routed out this whole little groove. And I came back, blew out a bunch of the extra dust and I did the same thing going this direction. Next up on the agenda is just sanding this down before I nail on this little waterfall piece because it's gonna be a lot easier to work on it while it's nice and flat. Now I'm gonna nail this on. You really don't have to. You could just glue it and let it set and then you don't have any nail holes. I'm in a time crunch, so I'm gonna nail it. Also, you could use a pin nailer with a glue if you have long enough pin nails, which I don't have long enough pin nails. So I'm using an 18 gauge nailer. So here we go. Oh, this is a Type Bond 3 glue. This is waterproof stuff, especially since it's gonna be in a shower area. I figured that might be a, a safe, smart choice to use. Okay, so I went and took this over to the tub and just to double check my measurement, but I drew a little line where I need to put this little piece of wood to help lock in the, uh, the piece so it doesn't fall off the tub. Girls, what's the fun part we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be staining. It's so fun. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to get more videos like this and other things related to tools and building and fun projects. And then make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any questions on the build or what I did, make sure that you throw them in the comments below. Also, if you have any good dad jokes, I'm always down for a good dad joke. Thank you.